Oh, much work coming up here on Good Morning Washington. Kid O'Shea, what are you working on? Stand by. Hey, we are learning all about hands-only CPR this morning and how you can save lives. But first, I have a group of people that want to say... Good, Good morning, morning, Washington! Yeah! We'll be right back on News Channel 8. At Len From News Channel 8, you're watching Good Morning, Washington. Well, good Monday morning, nine minutes after right now this morning. Kid O'Shea is out on the town. And today he is at Arlington County Fire Station 5 looking at how to save lives. So, Kid, tell us all about this hands-only CPR. So important. We all can learn it, and it's so easy to learn. And I'm with Dr. Perrin right now with the Virginia Hospital Center. They've teamed up with the Arlington Fire Department, and they're trying to get as many people on board with this procedure of hands-only CPR because it can really save lives. And you've seen people in the hospital that were saved by CPR that are now living normal lives. Yeah, it's really important for if anybody has a cardiac arrest for them to go ahead and get that CPR going uh, after they call 911, of right. course. Um, but that's something that really enhances the chances of people surviving because if nothing's done and somebody's down for several minutes, they're going to end up with heart damage, brain damage, and uh, their chances of living afterwards are going to be terrible. So most of us are used to you do the the, the pump and then you if you've learned CPR in the past and then you yeah. blow into their mouth and give them yeah, air. The rescue breathing. Yep. But that's done. Yeah, so what, what we want people to do is just hands-only CPR, so they're just doing chest compressions, uh, and uh, between that and uh, getting the medics on the way, that's the most important thing that they can do to try to help people save, to save people's lives. All right, lives. let's walk through the proper steps of how you do this. How do you know where to push? Uh, so basically, you want to find the breastbone, okay. and uh, you're going to be compressing down on that, and what you want to do is push firm and fast. So uh, over and over again, rate of we hear that click right there. 110 to 110. 120. So, and that's uh, where you want to be. And with these, this practice mannequin is uh, what's going to let you know if you're pushing hard enough. Right. And that's when you get that little click. So that's why these training programs are important. I think there are people that fear that they're going to push too hard or they're going to hurt somebody. What's your advice to people on that? Yeah. So uh, you're not going to hurt somebody. You know, occasionally we'll have people who crack ribs, but that's just something that happens. And uh, if you save their life, they're not going right. to really care about the cracked ribs. And if they say, "Ow, oh, that hurts," that means you've brought them back to life, then and you can. Stop that CPR means you can at that then point. Stop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or that, so, that, that, that they that don't need that it. That may actually happen. And right. uh, if that's the case, then that's great. Okay. So. The other thing we should talk about is if you aren't feeling healthy yeah. and you are running and you, something doesn't seem right, go to the doctor. Don't wait to the point yeah. that you pass out and you need CPR. Exactly. Exactly. This is something that's very important. So a lot of people are reluctant to uh, go to the doctor these days because people think about heart stuff and they think about, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to have open heart surgery. Yeah. Well, you know, that's that's a possibility and it's something that for some people can be helpful, but there are a lot of things that we can do, uh, minimally invasive tests, and uh, you know, if somebody has a cardiac arrest, we typically take them to the heart catheterization lab, and uh, we're uh, fixing their hearts using little tiny holes, little tiny incisions. Great advice. Thank you for everything this morning. Virginia Hospital Center and Arlington Fire County Fire Department all trying to team up to get 4,000 people on board in the community. They will come out to you, go to the Arlington Fire Department, Arlington County Fire Department website and search CPR for all the details. It's free for them to come out to you and teach your community how to do hands-only CPR. Great advice this morning. Uh, back to you guys. Oh, so important. Hey, kid, thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, a Prince.